Today we bring you The Somewhat True Tale of Robin Hood by Mary Lynn Dobson. Good day to you all good folks, and welcome to Shearwood Forest, a place of lore and legends. A place where most famous characters of all time call home. Characters of strength, characters of virtue, and characters such as Robin Hood and his merry men. Oh merry men, merry men, my heart is full of grief. It weighs heavy upon my soul. You gaze on one whose brightest light has been snuffed by the dark blanket of gloom. There is nothing left for me but sorrow and despair. Stands before you a man who suffers from the anguish of unrequited love. There are no means to describe my agony, merry men, except to say, I have the boo-boos. Oh, oh no, no not, not the, the boo-boos. Yes, I know you're shocked. I realize great characters of literature rarely get the boo-boos, but today I have them. My one and only love, Lady Manning, is lost to me forever. How can I go on? Soon the woman of my dreams will wed that incomparable bad guy, the Sheriff of Nottingham. <laughs> and from that very moment on, Mary Man, life will have no meaning. Oh, what to do, what to do? Well, first off, you can start by telling the good folk who the Sheriff and the Prince are. Well, yes, I suppose I could. Gentlefolk, our beloved England was once ruled by a great sovereign king, Richard the Lionhearted. Long, Long live, live the king! king. <clears throat> Our courageous king left us to fight in the Crusades. In his absence, we have been ruled by his rotten, sinister, and not at all nice brother, the evil Prince John. Boo! Yes! Boo! Yes! You see, Prince John wants to be crowned king. Since King Richard has been gone for more than, uh, let's see here, uh, two years, law decrees that he may take the crown if he's elected by another member of the royal family. But, Robin. Yeah. The only other royal is the fair Lady Marion. She loathes the prince severely and would never dream of letting him become king. She wishes him only skin rashes. Yeah. True, Will. But acting as ruler, law decrees that the evil Prince John... Boo! Yes. Boo! Yes. <laughs> ...may give dear Lady Marion's hand in marriage to a suitor of his choice. And his choice is the Sheriff of Nottingham. And as we all know, the sheriff of Nottingham is, well, <laughs> he's a worm, the man's a worm. You just want to squash him flat on your foot and scrape him off the back of your shoe. Anyway, once the sheriff met his Marion, he will instantly become royalty, thus giving the sheriff to allow Prince John to be king. And what a grim day for all that will be. Why, the prince's greed knows no limits. The prince isn't even king yet, and he's raised taxes sky high. No! no. Oh, schools and orphanages. No! And most despicable of all, he stopped the sale of Girl Scout cookies. Oh, no! Not bad. Even the chocolate thin mints. Yes, well, <laughs> even oh, those. Merciful heaven, help us! <laughs> I'll say. I can see banning, banishing the lemon creams because, well, hey, who buys them anyway? <laughs> but the Thin Mints? I would indeed rebel against that. Excuse me, but who are you? Uh, me? Yeah. I'm the town's guy. I see, and what's it exactly that you do? Well, I hang around town, hence the name Town's Guy. <laughs> this isn't rocket science here. Oh, how productive. Then may I ask, what are you doing here? If you haven't noticed, this is the forest. Well, I know. I just thought I'd hang around here and help tell the story. That's quite nice, but to be honest with you, we don't really need your help. <laughs> Please leave. Well, fine. <laughs> I was going to introduce the scene where you first met Lady Mary, but hey, you don't need me. Introduce your own flashbacks. Flashback? Oh, Robin, please! Flashback! 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 You know, that's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Even though I think Robin is one outlaw with an attitude problem. Hey! He is the champion of those less fortunate. On this day I take you now, Robin came across the most wealthy, one of the most wealthy, and uh, one of the most wealthy, flying please? Powerful. And powerful men in all of the country. The Sheriff of Nottingham. What a shock this is. <clears throat> I can't believe our carriage got stuck in the mud. I'm sorry to make you carry that bag of gold, Maid Marion, Lady Marion, excuse me, Lady Marion, but with the recent series of robberies, I thought it best not to keep it where it might encounter unwanted hands. But fear not, I will get us out of this dark and creepy forest. I think it's quite a warm and friendly place. Halt! Turn your money to me, please. I do say we're being mugged. How warm and friendly. Well, he said please. I do think manners count for something. Thank you, my lady. Mary, I do believe we are in the company of the notorious outlaw, Robin Hood. In the flesh, you seem to be outnumbered, sir. Why, Sheriff! This must be 
be Robin Hood's band of married men. That's merry men, my lady. Let me assure you, charming lady, we're all quite single gentlemen. Now, if you don't mind, dear guest, your treasures, please. And with that, Robin snatched away the bag of gold from the sheriff. Aha! Hasn't anyone ever taught you that stealing is wrong? I don't consider this stealing, dear lady. I'm merely returning it to those from whom it was taken. Because of sheer greed from those such as the prince and the sheriff, people, young and old, are stolen cry at night, frightened, cold, and hungry. This gold will help feed them, clothe them, and ease their pain. Sheriff, does Robin Hood speak the truth? Marion, one day you will come to know that good money is wasted on the poor. Oh, you gross fever blister! I love and despise you! Sir, forgive me, will you? I knew not of the vast suffering in my country. And you rest assured that upon my return to the kingdom, I will set forth to contact the king. I will tell him of these unspeakable acts against his people. This I promise you with all my heart. Do not keep the poor waiting any longer, gallant fugitive. Go now. Wow, you are the most gracious lady in all the land. I do promise you we shall meet again. I most certainly hope so. Merry men, we must advise. Thank you. It is time to set. It is time to set forth on our mission. Would you like to help me in my quest to aid the needy men of Sherwood? Sherwood. Very well then, Merry men, we, will, we must devise a plan to help save Lady Marion before she is forced to wed the sheriff. Any suggestions of quick and clever colleagues? Oh, oh, oh! Why don't we take our trusty spoons and tunnel our way to the castle? How do you propose we do this without the prince and his god seeing us? Yeah. We tunnel from here. Yeah. The castle is 70 miles away. By the time we get there, bulldozers will be invented. Yeah. Just a thought. While Robin and his merry men for, um, brainstormed to find a plan to save Maid Mar Maid Marion, uh, the, the prince and the sheriff was coming up with a plan of his own, you see. You see, the prince got, took care of the problem with Ma Lady Marion, but still had the problem of Robin Hood. Come with me, good folk, as we witness evil in the making. And you mean to tell me that Robin Hood intends to lavish the undeserving poor with my royal riches? Yes, sir. That's exactly what I mean to say. Doesn't he know the poor will just waste the money on something stupid like food? That's exactly what he intends to do with it. What a fool he is. Two things happen when you feed the poor. Number one, you waste good money. And number two, you end up with porky poor people. The money has greater purposes in life than feeding the poor. He also intends to buy them clothes as well. Clothes? He wants to buy them clothes. Is the man mad? Have you ever seen a poor person's taste in clothing? They mix rags with burlap and the result is simply a fashion disaster. Did you know that the money Robin Hood stole from me was to go to something really important? A diamond studded weather vane for my castle. How will you ever get along without it? I Thanks to Robin Hood, I shall be weather vainless, and the country will be riddled with poorly apparel, porky poor people! How oh, disheartening, Sheriff. Is there nothing to be done to stop this ruffian? Impossible. Everything he wants or needs is in the forest. Come now. Certainly there must be something Robin Hood wants that doesn't grow on a tree. <sighs> I wish you both runny noses. Um, sorry. I don't believe she grew on a tree. Sheriff, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, but... How? How shall we go about this? I've got it! We will hold an archery tournament. The winner will receive 1,000 pieces of gold and the hand of Lady Marion in marriage. No doubt Robin Hood will enter. He won't be able to resist. And the best part is, we don't have to worry about him winning. As we all know, you are the best archer in no. the land. It's a gift. Have you news for me, Will? Have I ever. Look! His Royal Highness hereby decrees an archery tournament shall take place one week from this Saturday. The winner shall receive 1,000 pieces of gold and the hand of Lady Marianne in marriage. Entries must be postmarked by Sunday, void where prohibited by law. Merry men, I have a plan. I shall enter this archery tournament, marry Lady Marianne, and give the gold to the poor people. Gee, Gee Robin, Robin, what, what a, a great plan. plan. Yes, I thought you'd like it. Now let the training begin. Robin, yeah. start training now? But it's pitch black outside. It's like 10.30 at night. 
What better time to be in than now? Well, hurry to yon Hawthorne. I say unto you hence, be my herald, hasten hither, haste makes ways for henceforth lies hereafter, hither and yonders, but hence hither too, so hereby hither shall make a heedless hazard, so be not heathen, hurry hero, and hasten hither hence. Huzzah! I have no idea what you just said. You see that tree over there? Yes. Stick this on it. Thank you. Why couldn't you just say that? Robin practiced morning, noon, and night. And as his men were soon to find out, his aim was much better in the morning and noon than it was at night. Ah! Oh, oh, Are you okay, Will? Oh, if I must. I was my ear pierced. Oh, well then glad to be of help. As the days passed, Robin could not help, help but think how worried um, Lady Marion must be with the recent turn of events. You know, as the days passed, I cannot help think but worried my dear Marion must be with the recent turn of events. I don't think you're getting this whole concept of the narrator. Please leave. shall be forced to marry a festering wart. That would make me Mrs. Festering Wart. Then we'd have a whole puzzle of festering little warts. Our mailbox, it'll say the warts. Our Christmas cards will be signed. Brightest holiday greetings, the wart family. I have nothing to live for. Well, someone's cranky. Marion, a letter just coming for you. You know this Rohan is your way to create it. The hand of Lady Marion in marriage? Don't let this fool you. This is just a clever ploy by the evil Prince John. Boo! Yes, boo! Yes. Now he can justify my marriage to the sheriff. The sheriff is the best archer in all the land. He's never been beaten by anyone. Nothing has changed. I'm still duped. Oh, look! It's Robin Hood! Good lady. So, Robin, how art thou? Very well, madam. How art thou? Oh, I art fine, actually. I'm about to become Mrs. Wart. But other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> good, good. Did you happen to receive my message? Oh, that was from you? <laughs> yes, good news to you, no doubt. Oh, don't be fooled, Robin. This is just a scheme to deceive the people of England. The sheriff is the best archer in all the land. He will win, and I will be condemned to marry him. All this black in my dreams wants bright spirals into a murky abyss of misery and despondency and tragic woe. Whoa. But thanks for asking anyway. My dear damsel in distress, you have been deceived. The sheriff is indeed a master archer, but he's only the second best archer in all of the land. Stands before you now, the winner of the archery tournament and your future husband. You? The best archer in all the land? <coughs> well, Marin, I'm not a person who likes to brag, but... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but when it comes to archery, there's nobody better than me. With my trusty bow and arrow, I can split a pea on the back of a flea 500 feet away. As long as it's during daylight. <laughs> Can this be? Is there hope for happiness yet? Yes, my love, it is true. There is hope for happiness yet. Yes! yes.